So a while ago, I mean a long time ago, the cover for book 11 was released, releasing a new tribe that has been dubbed the Silkwings and confirmed on the Scholastic Forums. I've gotten countless requests to draw this tribe and everybody's super hyped about it. And I've been holding off for a little while since I wasn't quite sure how I was going to execute this design. But I think I'm ready now, so uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So we're starting out with the blank canvas again. I've actually gotten a commission on DeviantArt to draw these. I declined the commission since uh, I told the person who commissioned me I was going to do a actual drawing on it later. They didn't have to pay me to draw this. So let's start off by cutting our paper into four parts, as usual. We're going to draw a smaller head than usual since you want to get those large horns in the back in. Connect them with the next shape. Mine's a little bit uneven here. Sorry, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. So the neck should be mostly the same width throughout. I'm making a messy sketch here. It's very messy. Um, yeah, trace your underbelly in and develop the snout, which should slope downwards a little bit. All right, go in and draw the horns. They're kind of like skywing horns, except they're longer and thinner. So make sure you get that bump up in. Smooth it out a little bit if you need to. So you have two sets of horns, actually. So I'm gonna draw the other set in as well. I have one at the front of the brow and the back of the brow. I've seen people interpret the first one, the longer one at the front of the brow as antlers or antenna of sorts, since they are bug based. Uh, you're free to draw them however you want to. I think I may draw them as antenna later on, but for now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll draw them as horns. Draw in your mouth, divide three parts as usual, and the center line, draw where the eye should be. Smooth out any rough areas of the neck if you need to. And sketch out where the arms will be. So this tribe has thinner arms and scale designs on them as well. So you're going to want to have a lot of space for those. Now with a thicker brush, or a darker brush actually, and, and slash or a pen if you're working with pencil, go in and start developing details. I start with the eye, let's give it a large, curious looking eye. So. I don't think we know the gender of this protagonist of the Lost Continent yet. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong though. I don't believe the gender or name has been announced yet. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Open it up a little wider to give it that curious kind of look. Arched up eyebrows, maybe in surprise or like, hmm, that's an interesting topic right there. Start with the crest. It's like a Skywing, Nightwing, or uh, Rainwing's crest. Fairly simple. Slope it downwards towards the snout. Finish off any lines. And now curve it forward. It's kind of like a sea wing snout in that sense, but not quite since it has the crest. Draw in the mouth. My character here will be grinning, but you're free to draw them however you'd like to. Double check bark nostrils and fill that in. Now finish up the crest by uh, curving it around the nostril so that it forms that streamlined shape. Finish up the head a little bit, add the other side's crest to indicate a little bit of depth and then draw in the jaw. So the jaw is like any other tribes. If you're trying to work with genders for this, a uh, smoother, more rounded off jaw tends to seem more feminine, and the boxy, squared off jaw seems more masculine. Draw in your horns. Try to make them as smooth as possible. 
smooth lines are just more appealing to the eye. Trace over your lines for the next part of the horn. Give it a smooth little kick upwards and erase any lines you don't need. Connect it down to the ear a little bit and then clean it up. Trace over your ear shape. Oops, drew that a little bit too big. You just go in and make that smaller. All right, perfect. Draw on the pupil. Actually, let's have him face forward. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. And uh, finish up this line a little bit. So maybe it looks like it was connected to the brow as it would normally on a night wing or rain wing or sky wing. But don't have it connect all the way as there still is this other horn in the front that needs to have a feel of connection. So this is actually my first time drawing this tribe. So I probably made a couple errors. This design is probably going to change in a little while. Complete the other side's horns. Now you don't have to do these if you don't want to, but for a sense of depth, I'd like to uh, reflect it a little bit so that we have the two sides of the head. Clean up your lines. Draw the other one in. Now the funny thing is, when you try to draw curved horns and reflect it across the head like that, as a double, they tend to come out a little bit wonky looking because it's hard to reflect the same thing. An easy way to get around that would be to copy and paste the horn you made first so that it's a direct copy. Uh, I'll probably go back and fix mine later. So now just trace your lines to the neck, it's pretty straightforward. Finish up the horns and connect it to the front. Yeah, let's, let's go back and correct that. Let's have it match the other horn a little bit more by sloping outwards rather than inwards. Clean up your lines, make sure it's a clean erase. Now, go in and mark the underbelly. It should be relatively parallel. Although, I'm going to make mine a little bit straight in the center so that we can have room for the scales more easily. Let's draw on a shoulder for these guys. Just copy the top of the shoulder and then add the wing shoulder. Kind of confusing. These guys have uh, thinner arms, so make sure you mark it a little bit. There we go. That's a good arm. Have the underbelly go through there as well. Draw the other arm in. Hmm, looking good. Now let's add the scales. So they're kind of like a night wings mixed with the sea wings. They have the same night wing pattern, but you have to draw a line in, in the front. So it's actually a little bit easier than the Nightwing scale pattern. So draw in your parentheses looking shapes and then close them off at the top. That. So they're like Nightwings but flattened at the bottom. So some people draw them with a third layer of scales on the top. Uh, I looked at their book reference, although those seem to be more like markings rather than extra scales. You're free to draw them however you'd like to. Draw in their spines. Theirs are also like night wings, although a little more sparse. And yeah, they're also kind of short, short and stumpy. Now for the arm scales. Now you can go in and, uh, whoops, let's go in lighter with the marking pen. So don't actually put this in the top layer. Draw a line through the center and then start working. That way you can keep track of where your scales go so it doesn't turn into one big scrambled up sketchy mess. So just mirror the same design, the parentheses and then connect to the side. Half circles, half circles. Everything's very, very round here. 
The arms scales are actually easier than the sand wings because there isn't as much variation in the shapes and it comes out looking rather neat. The wings, however, do not have these scales, so those are a little easier. Finish up the other side. Alright. Now let's get rid of the sketch layer by erasing the layer or just erasing the threshold eraser. And then go in with a thinner pen and start working on the facial details. Same for night. It's the same sort of facial details as the night wings, rain wings, and sky wings. You just kind of arc that out, arcing, and then diagonal scales, arcing to indicate more circular shape. And yeah, that's that's our silk wing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd like to see what you do with this. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night, whatever time it is for you. So just wondering, do any of you guys actually like gaming, like Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, or Fortnite? Because I've got another account, or rather my friends and I have another account channel that I will link here and in the description that you guys can check out for gaming stuff.